What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to create a rhythm afro beat in Apple Studio. So let's get right into it. So first I'm going to play a preview of the beat. So first we're going to start off with the piano melody. And right now I'm going to show you how to create something like this. This melody is created in G minor. So I'm going to start off with a melody like this. And in the G minor scale we can use this D, F sharp and B. So right now we're going to copy the whole progression. And we're going to use this B. We're going to create a melody like this. So we're going to copy this one again. And just use an E. And right now, we're going to just duplicate this one. And just to make it a little bit more snappy, we're going to make the notes a little bit shorter. And of course, we're going to randomize the velocity. So we're pressing Alt R and just play around with the velocity knob. Then I've used the stage 73 and used the master jam preset. And this preset sounds like this. And I've just cloned this one using the clone function, reduce the velocity, and then added this note in between. And this really adds a delay kind of effect. When it comes to the effects of uses EQ, use this delay, use this OTT compressor to really pull the sound to the front of the mix, and I've used this EQ. So without the effects, it sounds like this. Enabling all the effects. Combining it with the piano. Now I'm going to show you how to create similar drums. So I've used this kick, I've made the sample shorter, normalized it and play around with the in. So the first part of the kick is really hitting. This is the pattern. So as you can see in here I've played around with the velocity and just used a note right here. So just drag this one in and play around with the velocity. And I've used this F sharp just to add some more bounce. Then I've added this snare, just a simple snare, and pitch it down to C4. Then I've layered it with this head, this one, and this head is also playing an E. Then I've added this djembe. Then I've added another djembe, this one. Then I've layered some more snare. So I've used this one and just made the sample shorter. So use this quick fade out. Then I've layered it with another clip. So combining the pianos and the drums, it sounds like this. All right, I'm going to add the 808. So this is the 808 sample. And I create this pattern, just following the chord progression. to get that on the water effect on the drums, this one. 
I use this EQ and I've added this OTT multiband compressor. And last but not least, I've added another shaker loop. And this one is really in the background. And to make sure my 808 and kick sounds really clean, I've added this EQ. So for reduce some of the low frequencies from the 808, and I've used some mid frequencies from the 808. And then I've added this fruity limiter with some side chaining. So it sounds like this. So you can see when the 808 is playing, the side chaining to the kick. So that's it, and I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to download this free FOP. The link is in the description. And see you guys in one of my next tutorials.